cool because like San, Jump Steady, Larry, Zenyu, Nico, uh, myself included, sure, uh, sure. a couple of players all just live in that area. So you're so you're telling me what to expect out of this match is a resounding Tim Allen grunt, just a just very much a. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> it, it happens every now and then. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm just you know I don't have any any set history to go off of between these two. I've never mm. seen them play before, so you know it's just I was just wondering like you know kind of what we can expect seeing from these guys. You know what are the play styles? What are the you know, does this jump steady have really good combo di out of the out of the young link stuff? He's, I don't know. He is kind of used to fighting link. He usually, in general, just link, not young link. He's used to fighting him uh, usually because we have a tournament called WCW on Wednesdays. Okay. And he fights not Joel a lot, so he's kind of familiar with like link shenanigans as a toolkit for the characters, as a zoner and that. So he's a little bit used to like, okay, what I need to do to punish, what do I need to do when all the projectiles are in my face, that kind of deal. He's used to fighting not Joel when it comes down to link. So he knows. So he knows how to not get ahead of himself and just say, yeah. "Okay, like I, I know I gotta get up close, but I'm not gonna stress myself out about it." Right. And but like I mentioned earlier, right, every link is a different breed. They breed their own brew, right? They make their own tea, and they're a little bit different. And especially when it comes to two, young link and regular link, it's a lot different when you fight Zad than when you fight somebody like Nacho. Yeah, that makes sense. But now stuck in the corner, you know. Gotta gotta be scary when you got Young in the corner. He just walks up, down tilts, and connects a kill. I, dude, <laughs> this man just looked like he was out for a Sunday jog. The mango, dude. Just walk up, did you just walk up slowly and down is the same process, dude. <laughs> Top ten mango moments of all time. Uh, but nonetheless, though, it, it all comes down to the fact that Zan knows, like, hey, if he's going to take the time to go for Explosive Flame, I can take the time to get after at, at him with down tilt and go for that Ooh. option. Caught him aggressive on the shield, though. The back air was spaced a little bit too high, so he didn't have enough time to throw out the second one, and that gave him uh, Jump Steady the time to punish with the back air of his own and get the kill. Mm -hmm. the nice. Oh, in the corner. It's so scary. And that's the thing about those. That's what I talked about earlier, right? He's used to fighting the zoner as a kid, but a player like Zan, like I said, a whole different ballpark. He's aggressive. He's fast. He puts you in a corner, and he locks you down. He doesn't, you know, even though he's got all the, the, the tools in the kit to, to, to do it, he doesn't play so tricky. He just overwhelms you with the superior frame data. Yeah. Not only that, the ability to just trade up back and forth, play hot and cold, right? Get the lead, then look for left punishes, or be a zoner, get get a little bit of percent, and then finally go in mm -hmm. to force your opponent to go for your options. Nice. Comes in with the fire arrow to the upper. At this point, like you mentioned earlier, right? Out frame data him. He's going in with a, with a, oh! with a fire arrow. <laughs> There's no frame data right there. He just said, look, you're going to stand here and do nothing like you've been doing the whole game. What's up? <laughs> I can't just let this man walk up to me and down to the oh! upbeat. Come on. Can't just let him walk up and upbeat either. He punished him for that too. Jump <laughs> steady, looking real steady. Yep. And I talked about it earlier, right? They're kind of used to like hanging out with each other. The 818 is a region that just knows everybody within the region in and out all together so they're kind of understanding of each other in their play styles as well understand the grind man yeah okay taking to the platforms right there that can be a scary place to be against the young link but you know that all you got to deal with is his shield pressure he doesn't have reliable ways to set up for he doesn't have a command grab or anything so if you take to that platform you activate that shield and you wait for a commit and you know cookie slayer not going to give that to you he is definitely definitely happy to wait for his opening yeah all right, good parry. Comes in with the neutral air, and the fact that Zan went for a down tilt, I felt like that might have been a miss in just walked through the down tilt with nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, jump city. Oh, I've, that was an interesting miss in, but I thought that came up from him. Well, he was trying to set up for a raw bear, but instead he uh, kind of like wave dash backwards a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just runs right through that explosive flame setup in the zone. Oh, Cookie Slayer, man. He's going to push Jump Steady all the way back to the center of the stage and now off. He's got him at that percent where he can get a confirm into a kill, maybe off of a bomber or a down tilt. And it's up to Jump Steady to pull out that defense and not get hit, but it's looking. Oh, he's setting it up. He set up the entire shop. He said, hold up, man. I am the happy mask salesman. <laughs> I have the bomb mask on the floor. Watch out for that. It's my number one seller here. You need that to progress the story, and unfortunately, I needed to progress to the next game. And then he hit him with the karate chop to the back of the neck when he looked down, man. Yeah, that's what happened. Got to be careful when you head to the market, dude. <laughs> you never know what kind of merchants you're going to run into. <gasps> man, real talk, the valley is a very scary place to live in. <laughs> as much as I love it, dude, it has, it has its own dark side. And unfortunately, Zan shows there what he needs to do to get down to the W here. Um, jump Steady, though, like we mentioned earlier, right? like you said, he's keeping it steady. He kept it really close between him and Zan. He was able to zone break a little bit. That's kind of one of the things Palatina has, is she's able to just come in and out 
have the speed, have the intangibility, have the hitboxes, the the frame data that do so. It's very interesting that uh, what what Cookie Slayer just showed right there that when he got hit by that uh, by that auto reticle, that's probably one of the reasons he's been doing a lot of walking in this matchup mm -hmm. is that that shield will absorb those hits yeah. so long as it's not in the head. All all links have active shield as so long as they walk stand. There is the frame data in which when they turn around or when they like drop the shield and like go for a jab, mm -hmm. that it will be taking time to come back back. Yes, but of course. It even um, all links are actually able to get hit by, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, um, explosive flame and just stand there and take it. Yeah, because it'll hit the shield. It's nuts. So that's that's probably why we've seen a lot of you know that that walk from Cookie Slayer to mm -hmm. to try to close that distance safely, and that he also has access to the uh, to the oh. tilts as well. He had to go for a jump, especially when he was going that low. Goes for the bomb, and he nearly comes in with the trade, but jump Whoa. 30 steps flying. If you want to play Snake, that was key. He's not here today. Go down to the floor. Didn't have a jump. Don't have a jump. Yeah. Finally going to finally gonna take that stock. You know, <laughs> Jump Steady wasn't letting him back on stage. Cookie Slayer wasn't, wasn't letting him have it. But eventually, if you're off stage the entire time, something's going to give. Not generally going to be in your favor either. And Town City looking like a favorable counterpick for Jump Steady thus far. He's been doing such a good job of covering these specific platform heights, and once it's on FD, you know, Cookie Slayer hasn't really had anywhere to run. All right, good facing coming out from Zan. Immediately looking to just get that small micro space and probably get a 4 tilt. Ooh, but committing to that get-up attack on the ledge, you know, Cookie Slayer's uh, very adamant about using every single option that you've got there at the ledge to try to keep those mix-ups active, but mm -hmm. it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sometimes I do see the fact that, like, Jones City still goes for Rar Bear, but at this point, I feel like it's just muscle memory. <laughs> like, Zan was nowhere near where the point where that Rar Bear was going to connect, but I get, I get the muscle memory, Zan. We'll connect all that up smash, though. Up smash going to connect plenty. That means that Jump Steady down to his second stock. I wouldn't say this is an even game by any means, though, because Cookie Slayer is playing a, playing a light character well into his co sense, and Jump Steady not going to commit to anything too big. He just wants that damage, wants that stage control. Down tilt, nice. Goes to the floor there. That will connect with those percents. Sets the boomerang downward so that Jump City has to go for that low recovery, and he waits to see how he's going to come in when he comes back on the stage. But that in particular was just a really good matchup knowledge presented by Jump Steady, knowing that he has to DI down and away and hold away from where that boomerang is going to come out mm -hmm. if he doesn't want to take any more damage. All right, Zan, starting to turn that walk a little bit into a run as he sees the fact that he's so behind. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those things that all the links have a little bit of a hard time. It's like, yes, they can play the slow game, but ultimately they do need to approach to deal damage with their, their sword. Yeah. And, you know, disjoints, disjoints help. It just so happens that he is playing against a fast character that has, uh, in some cases, a bigger disjoint than he does. Yeah. You just got to really respect that in some cases. Especially at that mid-range, you know, I mean, even at the close range, you know, Young Link has that frame data to challenge Palutena. But it's that, it's that mid-range where she's so scary, where she can use those tools to break that zone and punish you for even throwing a projectile or thinking that you could. Nice, good down to it. Not even looking for a tool frame at that point, but he's able to catch Zan right before Ooh. he even touches the ledge. Down throw, no roar back, and he sees oh. the option there. What a great punish. That was an absolutely impressive sequence there from Jump Steady. Saw every single opportunity that Cookie Slayer gave him whenever he committed to anything just the reaction time was firing on all cylinders for that entire last stock. Yeah, and I mentioned it earlier, right? He keeps going for the right back air, like I said, like muscle memory. But at this point, he put that muscle memory into such good use. It's fine. No right back air, Vance. I'm going to give you something different because Zan is probably going to go for a jump, and he read it right. What a call out. All right, well, next game here, of course, 1-1 one, one apiece. This is winner's finals. This is best of three. Yeah, man, I, I don't want to, I usually don't mind going home late, but man, it's looking like 11.05. Uh, who knows what time we might end tonight, and who knows what time Jump Steady will take to finally make the adjustments against Sand, because he finally has a point on the board. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm telling you, it's uh, it's 1 o'clock body time for me. All I know is that, like, you know, back at home, Ultimate Shockwave, we got so many entrants back there on Wednesdays that, like, this is winner's finals at 1 a.m. is kind of the norm for me. Yeah. My question to you is, what is the standard after tournaments? Do you guys go out to eat or do you all just go home? Oh, we do. Down? Oh, we uh, go out to eat? Okay. The, the sparse people that are left, about half of us usually end up going out to eat. All right. You heard it here, folks, man. I consider Texas formerly a part of West Coast. <laughs> yeah. Are, we're all the same. Got the culture, dude. Yeah. <laughs> No, you, you got it. That's that's one of the reasons why we wanted to come out here, man. We know that we know that the culture around here is something that will be uh, familiar, but not too familiar. Yeah. But not too not familiar. I I feel I feel bad for making it. 
making a reference that heavy-handed. Anyways, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of heavy-handed... No, don't, don't even worry about it, man. We, we're all family here. And really, Zan knows he's family with Jump Steady in the region when it comes down to the money in the game itself. Woo! Yo, man, we ain't fam anymore. <laughs> You're not fam anymore, bro. Yeah. I, I love you like a friend off the game, but in the middle of the game, we are enemies. And Jump Steady knows what he has to do to beat Zan here. Two dash attacks into an up air. That's incredible. Look at, once again, Jump Steady setting himself into these situations where all it takes is for him to react to what Cookie Slayer is going to do. And with the reaction time that he is showing, like, I don't I don't know him personally, but it seems like he has just got a reaction time that I don't want to contest with. That scares me. <laughs> All right, coming off the ledge, Cookie Slayer also trying to take advantage of that, but once that jump from ledge came, he was trying to respect those big aerials that Palutena has got, and the return back air not going to come anything off oh. of that down throw. I like it because he's checking Zen's commitment to holding ledge right there, and he went for the smash. All of the, reading the normal get up at that point, and it was really good for him to still bust that out there. Yeah, Zan is really just trying to claw his way on stage, and it is just not working out. Jump Steady is denying him at every single turn. Zan here with the setup here, has the bomb on the coverage. The sale was not made. You have not closed <laughs> the sale, but I do see the back air, man. He's looking for the opportunity to come back and close it. Can't do anything but laugh every time I see that, dude. I it's keep thinking, so like, all right, maybe I've had enough, but no, it just keeps going more and more. It's so fast. And, <laughs> and all, all the links have pretty good fastball frame data. Like, Link is probably one of the best fastballers, too, as well, alongside Fox, one of those characters. I think yeah. he's the top 10 best fastballers in the game. Well, the fun thing is, I don't know if it applies if, if it applies to Young Link, but one no. of the fun facts about Link is just that he gets extra fast fall speed compared to other characters. Mm -hmm. uh, like the multiplier is greater for him. And Young Link still, I mean, like we said, he, doesn't, he still has a pretty good tool, toolkit, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. he able to just come there with that four tilt, great opportunity for something. Yeah, quick, quick kill move, a little bit committal. One of those things that you can usually punish uh, when a Young Link throws it out, but oh, got to be ready to do it. Oh, he's gone. No. And what a pinpoint accuracy, man. He just really moved that reticle. 360 no scope, no sniper. It didn't even have to aim, man. Just automatic. Yo, can we? Yo, can we? <laughs> Can we can we run some moss anti cheating here, dude? <laughs> do we do we got an aimbot on deck? Altina, Altina literally says auto radical like she's just she's just saying I dare you to see what, if I'm cheating. What was what was that thing that people used to use like a JTAG? Was that back oh, in the day God. the JTAG mod people used to do it in Call of Duty. Dude, all I remember is that people used to put on put on the mods to like fire semi automatic Like if I, if you were playing Modern Warfare 2, you put that mod on your controller to make the foul shoot like a regular assault oh rifle. God, that thing was like, busted. If you yeah, did that. yeah, it was it was broken. Speaking of busted, Cookie Slayer switching off to the Joker, which you know I don't say busted as in this character needs a nerf or anything. I almost never say that about anybody. But boy, if this character doesn't have some really scary tools in his arsenal, I mean you'd be delusional to say that this character is not good. Yeah, and Xander knows how to use those tools properly. He, he really saw I'm going for the Rebels guard the minute that he saw spacing and the minute that he saw that auto radicals. It's fine. You want to give me free meter? I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, I might, I might take a little bit of damage in the process, but if that gets Arsene on the field that much quicker, well, I'll take it. Because look at that. Two hits. And you got jump steady at 46% and climbing after that Aegon hits. All right, looking for that space back air. Zen knows what he's going to do. One thing that both parents... Oh, my God. He countered there. Mm -hmm. What a great play, too, knowing that uh, Zen was going to go for four there. I mean, the, the aggression is real with Joker. You know, he's a very quick character with some really good frame data, Ooh. and especially when you don't have Arsene, you need to take advantage of that in every situation possible. The Look one at the gun dash! Yeah, that was really good. I mean, we saw Aniko and Zan both play this character the last night at MSM. Mm -hmm. Both of them did real well. The one thing that I don't see Jump City do too often that I want to see him start doing right here that's going to be super useful in this matchup is Tomahawk traps. That's one thing that he's always showing his hand a little bit too early, going for those back airs, going for those forward airs. I, going, going for the back air yet again, it would have been nice to see a tall mock. It would have changed things against Zan for there. Better or worse. Yeah. It could, it could definitely be a big tool. And, you know, I mean, Jump City may have an extra match to, to work with here as he evens it up with that back air. You know, he's, he's got an extra match to work with to make the adaptations, and maybe he does, you know, sort of what a lot of people do in that game one, is to just try to kind of gather the data, gather the data, see how Cookie Slayer is playing this Joker today, and then see what he has to do in game five. But ideally, you don't want to go there in the first place. Yeah. Landing there. Okay. Oh, great for Zan. He even waited to see how Jump City was going to react to make sure he was Dude, now that, now that Cookie Slayer has switched to the Joker, now that Zan's, like, you know, pulling this quick character out, like... He's, he's reacting so much better to do whiff punishes because he's not committing to uh, projectiles or aerials like way out of uh, the area where he's going to hit him anyways. Waits for the grab there on that Rebel's Guard. 
That means Jump Steady's got the frame advantage. But now with that Arsene out, he's got to go right back to respecting this character. Of course, he can't just try to time it out like you would with Cloud Limit. This character's, uh, you know, meter goes down quicker once you hit him. Mm -hmm. Looking for the spacing there, and he immediately just ran up for the out smash. Sensing Jump Steady might have been going for a possible platform counter, but I did not see what Xanpal we saw. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jump Steady hitbox! Definitely sees that hand lingering hitbox. He's been getting so much mileage off of this up smash at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh drag down upper. That was something I have. I feel like it might have been an interesting input. I really didn't see that happening at all. If he had converted something off of that, I would have immediately started playing Palutena. Just yeah. on the spot. I would have gotten off the mic. I would have taken my controller over to one of the friendly setups, and I would have just started right now. And I would have bought you a ticket to the East Coast to get better. <laughs> 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 you want to be one of the best Palutena's here, man? Here's a free ticket to the East Coast. Half oh, yeah, fun. Everybody's out there. No, I'll hit him. I'll hit him, my boy Desley at home. <laughs> you know, that's that's all I'm saying. Shout out to Desley. Shout out to everybody in DFW if you're still in the chat at one in the morning. Shout out to the Texans. Yeah. That, that's, I, I'm one of my personal favorite players in Asia, being from there as well. Mm -hmm. Dude, we we all love Mage. He's so SoCal and Texas, we got we got a common bond there. Yeah, we, we do. We definitely do, man. Mage is the bridge between the guys here, and hopefully, Jump Steady is gonna bridge that gap a bit deeper between him and Zen. 65% to only Jump Steady 10. Mm -hmm. But this is this is where Arsene comes into play. He's got to make sure he doesn't get hit so much, of course, because you know that's bad for your health, anyways. But oh, also yeah. because he needs Arsene on deck to make this comeback, because otherwise. Yeah, this is looking real tough without him. He's just got to do really good uh, stuff with oh. his frame advantage. Great air dodge from Jump Steady. Like it goes for the neutral, moves, uh, moves the hitbox a little bit towards Zen, trying to hit him, possibly get a shield poke as well. Great up, I see that he has Zen on the platform. Down throw, Rar Bear, finally the connection has been made here. Can he finish off the establishment? Oh, quick recovery. Not Okay, holds the shield there. Or Smash would have not have killed, but it would have put Jump City off the stage. Sets the arc fire because it has to force Zen to go low at that point. Love that he used oh. that air dodge to get a second de facto jump, but Cookie Slayer not going to be able to live that back air, and Jump Steady is able to overcome that, that force of Joker in that game four and take the set for himself to be sitting pretty in grand finals. Yeah. He, he did a really good job sensing that Zan was going to go for the... 